Hello everyone, welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for clicking on my video, choosing to spread to spend. Wow. Choosing to spend your precious time with me. If you're new, welcome. I'm so glad all of you are here. This is going to be quite the video. I'll just tell you now what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a very quick recap of how Diego's stay went at the lodging place he went or whatever you want to call it. And then I am going to open some very, very, very exciting happy mail. It's just one thing. And then we will go into our busted book and see how far we can get in that. And then we will do our true crime savings challenges. So that is the order for today. So first of all, let me just tell you, I woke up this morning or I basically was up all night with a very, very sore throat, felt like a knife in it every time I swallowed and I feel like I have an ear infection in both ears and my head is stuffy and I have chills and I probably should be in bed, but instead I'm in the basement and it's very hot down here and I am bringing you this video because that is how much you all mean to me. So, as if that wasn't going to be hard enough for me to get through this video, let me tell you that when I first got down here, I heard some papers rustling on the floor. And yes, I have some papers on the floor that need to go in the trash. My whole floor is actually covered, to be honest. Um, not proud of it, but I needed to get through the launch before I had time to clean. So anyway, I heard rustling, and then in my peripheral vision, I saw something black scurry by. Sure enough, it went behind my safe, and it came out, and then went under my closed door out of my office. It was a black, a very dark mouse. And in my opinion, it was pretty big, so... I absolutely freaked out and stood on my moving desk chair and then I realized I didn't have to stand because as long as I was sitting on it, it wasn't going to touch me. But I think I was so scared because first of all, this is the first time this has happened to me and I'm home alone. So it's up to me to figure this out. And oh my goodness, I just wasn't expecting that. So it really scared me. So I kind of went around. I decided I needed to find something and to try to capture it, which was kind of a silly idea. But I finally decided to use my trash barrel in my office. Um, I took the liner out and then I figured I could just turn the barrel upside down and try to catch it. So I told Matt and I told Matt that first I started like crying out and he said, what do you mean? And I was just kind of going, ah, 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 I can't believe this. This isn't fair. Ah. And I was like doing that. And then once I found the trash barrel, I tried to find where the mouse went and I couldn't. So Matt said to me that I was crazy. There was no way I was going to be able to catch the mouse. It's way too fast. There's just not a chance. So that was like, game on, bring it, brother, brother, brother. Yeah. Anyway, I'm in a, I'm in a crazy mood. So I was determined to catch that mouse. So let me tell you that he also, when he, he called me, when he got my frantic text, he also said, oh, there's probably plenty more mouse in your office or plenty more mice downstairs. And I'm like, if that's why you called me to make me feel a lot worse, then let's just hang up now. And we were laughing. But anyway, I ended up deciding to go upstairs and get some Pecorino Romano cheese. That's mine and Diego's favorite. My mom always called it mousy cheese. And um, I cut some little pieces and I put them on the tile right outside my office because I have carpet in my office and there's tile right there. And I know there's a little hole by this, by that metal end of the metal staircase at the end of our stairs where the mouse was coming in and out. I had a feeling anyway. So, okay. I for totally forgot I was starting with the story. It's kind of a long story, but anyway, I put them out. I put the cheese out and sure enough, it smelled so strong. I saw the mouse poke its little head out. And so I knew that was, it was going through that hole into my office closet. So I sprinkled the cheese all around and I kind of hid against the door with the trash barrel upside down, ready to pounce on it. And it, it didn't come out, but I, I knew it was there. So then I decided to up the ante. So I went upstairs and I got peanut butter and I spread it all over like a quarter of a paper towel like I folded the paper towel up spread peanut butter all over it then I put the cheese into it and then I put it at the end of our stairs in that tile space 
So sure enough, the mouse smelled it right away and he kept poking his head out. And I actually was like, oh, he's kind of cute. Just not in my house. But I was also just not as afraid because I was expecting it. It was just the shock that freaked me out. So I decided as long as it took, I was waiting for that mouse. Well, he came out and he actually didn't go near the food. He came toward me, toward inside my office on the carpet. So I did try to catch him and he ran back in the hole. So then I decided, and you guys will see this in a photo. Actually, I'll have Matt put the photo up right now. It's messy. It's the bottom of our basement stairs. But anyway, I'll have Matt put the picture up. If you look on that picture, you'll see the watermelon bubble mailers. I had some blank ones and I stuffed them in the hole where the door is because if the mouse came out and didn't go for the cheese or didn't go for my office, it was going to go back in my office through that, that crack where the door opens. So I was smart and stuffed that up. But anyway, he finally came out and didn't come far enough. So I didn't do anything, went back in, came back out. And once he made it all the way to this thing that I had the paper towel where I had the stuff on, I was already ready to like kind of pivot that way. And I had the trash barrel like three inches from the ground, so it wasn't up really high, so it would take a while. And I got that little son of a gun. Oh my goodness, I was so proud of myself. And okay, this is, is gonna be a long story, I'm sorry. Um, but I just feel like telling it. So I'll have actually, I'll probably go back to the beginning and tell you where the cash stuffing starts. But if you're watching this, that means you chose to keep watching anyway, or keep listening. So. Once the mouse got under, I then got my markers and put it on top, my box of markers, because it was very heavy. And I was like, hey, at least he's going to have a really good last supper. So I was talking to Lindsay and telling her my woes. And she said, well, it may suffocate underneath there until Matt comes home and takes care of it. And I said, oh, bummer. <laughs> because here's my thing. Say I were to let it out right now. I don't know how I would get the mouse out because I'd have to slide something under that was thick with, I don't know. I don't know how I would do it. I wouldn't even try. But even if say Matt was home right when I did that and he brought it outside, it's just going to come right back in because it's like, I know how to get in the house and the mouse will think like, well, the last time I got in, I got all the peanut butter in the world and all the good expensive cheese in the world. So I really need Matt to, um, take care of it for me. So I hope you will. And right now I texted the kids. If you come in the house, do not move that barrel. It's down in the basement at the end of the stairs. So that is my story. I'm exhausted. I am quite proud of myself though. I will say when anyone tells me I can't do something, I'm like game on, let's go. And I get very competitive. So I'm like, I don't care how sick I feel. I don't care if I'm hunched over all day, hurting my back and my neck. I'm like, I will catch that thing because number one, then I can breathe. And number two, I can prove that wrong. <laughs> so anyway, that is my mouse story. I do hear it squeaking every once in a while and moving around under there. And it's kind of sad to me and still kind of wigs me out at the same time. So, but I was able to shut my office door and now my ears are all clogged up. I can't hear as well, which is great. So blessing in disguise that I don't feel well. So that is the mouse story. Okay, I'll let you know what happens with it and how Matt decides to take care of it and how he's going to get out of the house. Okay, then I said I was going to tell you about Diego. I'm going to go ahead. When I went and picked up Diego, before they even got him, they said, oh, Diego made you something. I'll have Matt put the picture up right now so you can look at that while I talk. But I was like, what? And he said, yep, they did something and I didn't understand it all. Addie said she'll explain it to me later because I had told her later about it and she said she knows about it this technique, but something about a Ziploc bag where you put paint inside and then you put or peanut butter inside or peanut butter on top of it. I have no idea, but somehow I think Diego made part of this painting with his nose. I don't know, you guys. He also had some paint on his paws. I don't know how it happened, but I thought it was so sweet. And when I went to pick him up, the guy at the front desk went on his walkie talkie and said, woof. And then the people who heard it said woof. And then like the other people with the walkie talkies and they said pick up for Diego. So they brought out Diego and they only let one dog out at a time for pickup. They stagger our pickup. But we, but there were a few of us parents there at the very beginning of the pickup time. We were early. We didn't like come at our schedule time. We were all there right at four o'clock when the pickups start. The pickups are between four and six thirty. I had chose four thirty because um, that was the first opening there was. But anyway, 
it was like 4.10 and I saw Diego. I couldn't wait. And I thought he was going to cry and jump on me and kiss me to death. And he didn't. He, I mean, he did see people in the waiting room. He just went around circles around me and like wrapped the leash around my legs. And he just was psycho. And then in the car, he was just on my lap. And then at one point he did try to kiss the heck out of my face. So I had to pull over because it was really dangerous. So I took him to Addie's work and I got him um, they do free pup cups. I don't even think dogs are allowed inside, but I just picked him up and her boss was, she was working. Her boss was there and I was like, is he even allowed to be inside? And she's like, ah, whatever, you're holding him. So I, Addie was really busy, but I held him um, until he got the pup cup of ice cream and Addie got him water. She gave him a big hug and kiss. And then he ate the ice cream and then we left. So I'll put a picture up too of the ice, of him eating the ice cream. You can't really see much or maybe it was a video. You can't see much because he's just devouring it. It was soft serve, so he ate it pretty fast. But anyway, that went really well. So now let's go ahead and let's do some money stuff. So let me get out the money. Again, it's a random amount of money because I this is how much I had from the kids giving me their tips and having me transfer money from my checking to theirs and replace of the tips. So I think it's 273. Let's just count it though. 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, um, 200, 210, 20, 30, 240, 250, 260, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 270, 1, 2, 3. So we do have 273 for today's stuffing and we are going to start with the busted book. So we'll go ahead and do that first. Let me know if you guys have, had, have any interesting stories of things that have happened to you recently. Hope everyone's having a good week. This, no, I forgot. I have happy mail. That's right. That's right. I wanted to do the happy mail first. So you guys, this was such a shock to get in the mail. And this is something very dear to my heart. So this is from Marlene. She is Snow Gardener 307. And I can't even tell you how hard I screamed when I saw this. Marlene gifted me her first book. And I haven't done it yet. But as soon as Rox's book is finished, I'm going to be using that book for the rest of the year until it's finished. I already have book two and this is a really nice value. This book is, if I had seen this book in person, if I didn't know Marlene, I would have paid like 75 to a hundred dollars for it. And I'm not kidding because it's how much something is worth to you. And this is the cutest thing ever. I love the black. I love the pink and the purple. And the best part, if you haven't seen it on another channel, look at the back. It's like the whole backside. I can't even tell you how much I love this book. And now I want to start this book and not the first one, but I will be doing them both on my channel because they are amazing. And I don't know where she gets this printed, but it's like the thickest, nicest quality paper ever. And the colors are so vibrant. And you can tell she takes so much time putting the scratch up stickers on to make them like perfectly lined up. And um, anyway, I love everything from Marlene and her sister um, has the shop and the channel 307 Design Studio. She partnered up and did um, probably a lot of the, if not all, she at least did the Georgettes and things like that. She does a lot of the design. So they work together. I was so excited to get a matching sticker and it's a zipperless envelope. So it'll fit a ton in there for when I do it. And then as always, there's some information about all about the book, what it contains. Then there's like an index, which is awesome. You can quickly look to see how much challenges will be. So I'll be honest with you. I knew I wanted to show it on camera. And so I actually flipped through it. I spent about 25 seconds only looking at this book on purpose because I really wanted to see it for the first time with you guys. So let's go ahead and open it up. It says the life of a pig who wants to collect memories, not things. This is just like the cutest thing ever. So let me make sure you can see the whole thing. And my voice might go because my throat is very sore, but I have a lot of important stuff I want to do on this video today. So anyway, I'm not going to read anything to you, but it starts off with the $20 savings challenge. And then this is 40 plus bonus and multipliers. Look how cute this is. I just can't even. Then this is a dice game. And look, there's another scratch off there. 
And then I do love that, I don't mind turning the page at all. I love that she did some landscape ones. This is a pizza one. And I think that's like, it could just be called a scooter, but it might be a, a Vespa. Is that how you say it? I don't even know, you guys. You can laugh. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then I love the colors on this one with the blue and the orange. And who doesn't like a pizza challenge? So you can color and it says how much they should be. So I don't have to put any brain work into thinking. These are only numbers one through seven. I am going to go through it quickly. Um, but I definitely wanted to show this to you right away. So word search. I love word searches. And then how cute is this? My favorite part of this whole page is that Georgette has one eye closed. It's just so cute. So there's scratch ups here. So you can see she used smaller ones, which probably means she had to hand punch them. And they're very, they kind of just blend in. I just, there is so much love and time. I can't even imagine how much time this took her. And it's just absolutely amazing. If I'll be honest, if I were her, I would not offer a discount on the book. And I'm saying that because if you know me, you know how generous I am. But this book is so beautiful. It must take so much time even to put it together after it's designed. I, you guys, I wouldn't have offered a discount. <laughs> so anyway, but she is, but she is offering a discount, which I'll tell you at the end. This is so cute. I just, okay, I'll have to look at it more later, but and I love because if I if you color these in, it's so easy to color nicely with the thick black lines. There's a pretzel. Um, I don't know what that says. I'm not going to try to. Oh, the best or nothing. But it says it in the other language. And look at these sunglasses and the red boots and the little, the little, it looks like a plant in a pail. I don't know, you guys. This is just absolutely awesome. And I cannot wait to start it. And this cheese one where there's some scr roll in scratch. Um, there's just, I can't even say enough stuff about this book. I am seriously, I don't know how she thought of all of this and even, oh, I hadn't seen this page yet. I love the mint green and the, oh, and the rose gold. That's beautiful. Okay. This is just everything. So, and I want to give major props to her sister too, because this is just the two of them. They're just like a dynamite team. So there's even tiny little scratches there. So I'm telling you, this is going to fly off the shelves. She only puts them in the shop once they're made and ready to ship. So if you can, if you are lucky enough to get your hands on one before they go out of stock, then it is going to ship to you right away, I'm sure. And I just want to see, I'll put it in my description box, but <laughs> okay, this must be what she gives to everybody because there is a discount code she's offering. And now I'm realizing that that discount code it's I'm not gonna I don't want to misquote but it's 10 or 15 percent I thought it was 15 it might be 10 either way it's a huge um that's a huge huge amount of money off and so there is a code but the code is only good for a certain amount of days and I'm already past a couple days filming this so all I can say is make sure you get in on this before they run out and she has to make a bunch more and you have to wait so because I don't have the exact information right now, I thought I did. I'll have Matt put it up on the screen right here. So right here, I'll have him put the percentage she's offering off, off the book. And then the last date, or it's through a certain date. So the last date, you can get the book with that discount code. So I'll have him put that up there on the screen and keep it up for a long time. It'll also be in the description box. Um, and I almost called you Georgette. And Marlene, I cannot thank you enough for including me. It means the world to me. You know I would have bought this anyway. I would have been happy to, but I really, truly appreciate you. And this is probably my favorite challenge book I've ever seen in my life. And I cannot wait to start it. But good things take time. And we'll have to wait until we do the her other one because I already had plans to do that. And I like to stick by my word. So Thank you so much, Marlene. And now we will get to the busted book. So yes, this is going to be a long movie, but if you don't, I got a comment recently and it said, this movie is too, this video is too long with like a sad crying face. I don't know what to say to that, but you guys don't have to watch it. If you don't like long videos or there's certain parts you don't want to see, you don't have to watch it. So by no means do you have to feel obligated to watch it if it's not your type of video or it's too long or whatever? So anyway, we're going to get to this book. Oh, I just realized I probably don't need all this room. Okay. So anyway, this book was gifted to me by 
Mlosh Design, or is it Designs? Here, I always do this at the beginning. I love to give them credit. M. Losh Designs from Marion and from Dina at Budgeting by Dina US. They made this with their friend Mandy. So I, what I love about this is you can make your own envelope like I did, or you can just chop off the edge, which I did on these so you guys could see, even though I'm not using it, to put the money right in. So I love it. And we are currently at the end of the book. So we're going to get right into it. And last time I did do some off camera because you guys know I had to do this off camera so that I could do Addie's and Max's new binders instead. So you guys did, you didn't miss a video. You just, you didn't miss a filmed video, but you did miss me doing that off camera. So I didn't want to finish it without you guys. So let's go ahead and start. So for this challenge, we just need two more cards to finish it. So that's exciting that we're almost done with another one. And we'll just grab the top two cards. And now we are done with these cards. And let's see what they are. We have a seven and a 10. So I put the stickers right in here. They were gifted, made for me and gifted to me by planning. I think it's, I think her shop is planning Risa, but um, definitely go favorite her shop and Let's see, so a diamond, and then I think we figured out by now this was the spade. Is that what it's called? I'm having a mental block, you guys know. So we are going to be done with this challenge. So I need to add money, though. So for the diamond, it's four, and the spade is one. So we just owe $5 to finish up this challenge. So the five just goes in here, and I don't know if we can finish the last challenge today because it takes a lot of time. We will see. Um, see how long it takes for me to land on the things. So we may be counting this up today. I don't know, but let's, okay. We did the last two cards. I put the stickers on, we did the money. And so now we get to tally this up and finish. So we're going to count how many hearts first. So I'll do that with you guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight hearts and then diamonds. We have one two, three, four, five. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight clubs. And for spades, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll have Matt fast forward this, but I'm going to count how many squares there are to make sure I didn't miss anything. So... Okay, so 28, that is correct. So now, it, let's see. It says when all the spaces are filled, count each symbol. The highest quantity will signify the motive for the crime. If there's a tie, flip over cards until you break the tie. We do have a tie. So actually, bring the cards back. Number eight. So we need, so if we get flip over a heart or a spade first, no, not a spade, a club. Oh my God, goodness, you guys. Okay, so the top one is a diamond. So I'm gonna just keep flipping over till I get one of those two. So, okay, these aren't shuffled very well or something, but anyway, diamond again, heart. Okay, so the heart wins. So we are gonna scratch here and see what it says. So this is exciting. This book is so much more fun than I ever thought it could be. I love it. It says it's crime of passion. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to go to the front. I've been trying to fill these in. And um, I'm going to write crime. So this is the Y, crime of passion. And I'm just writing messy, you guys, because I, I'm not feeling well. So anyway, we have one more. How? So let's see how far we can get on this. I put so much money into this yesterday. If you guys notice, there are so many more check marks. We still haven't won, so we need to land on two for that, one for pan, one for wine, and one for pencil, or two for pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out our dice tower, and we will just, I might fast forward a lot of this. Again, if I feel like it's boring, I'll just start fast forwarding, but I really want to try to finish this book today so it will free up the money because I need the money for something that happened, which you will hear about soon. Okay, so we need a... Six sided die. Red is one or two, three or four, five or six. So I'm going to get to rolling and let's go. Three. 
three is blue, and five. So, wait a second. So five, okay, so five is here. That's right, I just needed to remind myself how to play. And four, okay, that's not checked off yet. That is a miss, so for every miss, thankfully I only allotted a dollar, so I'm gonna be putting the dollars down as I go. And now we got a five and a six. Ooh, we need a one. We need a one, you guys. And we got a two. So I haven't rolled this column yet at all. So this is another dollar. Six. Okay. So we're staying on the green board. Six. And now we need a one. And we got a six. Okay. Look at all these check marks. That's crazy. Okay, one is red. We need a four now. We got a three and a two. That is a hit, but we've already gotten that and paid for it. Six. Four, okay, we need a three. We've gotten all the other ones. And we got a six, so we already paid for that. We already have a check, so we're not paying again. Okay, you guys, finally, after playing forever, I finally won. We got we got a winner. So $5 for the N. Okay, wow, that took a long time. Let's see how much money we gave to this challenge today. And by the way, if we do fast forward and you see weird stuff or me not doing anything, it's because my daughter came in and from school and showed me some special things that had happened and I will show them to you on film another time because this video is already too long but I wanted to make sure I spent the time with her because she was very excited to show me a couple things immediately so anyway 5 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 2 3 4 5 27 so 25 is here so 20 we'll leave the five and then this will be 20 dollars okay so I'm gonna add the money in here. This means we officially finished this challenge book. I wish I could remember if this money is just for these two or if it's for more, but I think it's just for these two. Anyway, let's see what we're supposed to do here. Hold on, let me just put this in order. I can't believe how long I rolled for. I didn't think I was ever going to finish the game, but I really wanted to finish it today because if not, it could have been many weeks of just doing that one game to roll. Okay, so what does this one say? Um, how do we finish this off? Continue searching to mark off all the letters in one of the game boards. That will determine the weapon. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm just going to put um, a star up here on the red one or around it so we know that was the winner. So wine, wine was the weapon. So let's write that in and we've officially finished this book, wine. So female with blonde hair and light complexion killed her neighbor's plants in France on February 14th. It was a crime of passion and she killed the plants with wine. That actually kind of makes sense. So anyway, 
This is so exciting. We finished this book. Go pick it up from... It says, crack the case by July 1st for a chance to win a $50 Etsy gift card. Send your name and the details of the case to my Elias, mloshdesigns at gmail.com. That is so cool. I'm going to have to make sure I do that because we all know I love to shop on Etsy. So we officially finished this book. Let's count and see. I think it's just from, this money is just from the last two challenges. Let's count it. I will get a paper clip ready and a post-it note, my killing it post-it note. Let's count the money. We have 50, 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400, 420, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 5, 65, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83. I think that was 583, you guys. That is insane. I cannot believe how much money we got from this entire book. And that was so nice. I didn't even know it existed, so I'm so happy it was it was gifted to me or I wouldn't have known about it. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm gonna take a 20 here. So we have enough fives for our video. And why do I have, I don't know what's going on, you guys. Okay, so 583 from finishing off the book. And Marion, if you are watch, watching, let me know because then just tell me that you're, you'll enter me in and I don't have to email you because I'll probably forget. But anyway, this was so much fun. So this amount of money is so, is so nice because I really, really need it right now. So I'm so thankful for that. I mean, it'd be kind of sad not doing that book anymore. So now we have to get into our binder and we are already like way into the time has gone. We have, wow, I really can't talk. We have used up so much time already, but we're going to do the binder. So let's go ahead. We're going to finish some challenges today, which I am excited about. This first one, let's see. Yes, we are going to finish this today. This was a gift from Akir at Cosmic Twins Designs. She's coming out with new challenges every day, and I love them. Make sure you follow her shop if you want to be in the know about her new items. So to finish this off, we have a 12 and a 2. So we need to add $14. So let's add 15 and see if we have a 1. Yes, we do. Okay. So we're going to finish off this challenge. I love it. It says Busy Lizzie. 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, $75. And it does say it on there. So we know that was correct. So this will be our second challenge, right? Well, we finished the challenge book. So this, and then this is our first single challenge we're finishing today. Um, so let's go ahead and roll. We have six envelopes left and we will roll to see which one is going in next. Number three. All right. So we're getting down to the end of this tr cr true crime unit. I think it's been a ton of fun. And there is number three. So let's open it up and see what it is. Oops. I'm not opening nicely or easily. It is Serial Killer. And I am not surprised that this is the one of the six I opened because I have had the envelope from Lindsay's serial killer scratch off challenge with a bowl of cereal that she gifted to me for my birthday and she gifted me a beautiful matching sticker i put i kept that envelope and i said i'm gonna use that for when i roll bobby's challenge and i have had it every day since i finished Lindsay's challenge until today and today i can't find it everything's strewn about because of the mouse and i don't really want to go looking too hard for it so this, I will switch this envelope out with the cereal sticker envelope off camera. I'll have to find it. So anyway, but we're not starting this one today anyway, but this is from Life with Bobby. So let's keep going. The next one is from Budget with Carly. I absolutely love the colors on this one and it is so cute. We are going to finish this one today as well. So let's go ahead and scratch and we'll see what we come up with. So first we have a three. And then a five, so we're we're up to eight dollars. And then eight plus six is fourteen. And then fourteen plus eight is twenty-two. So twenty-two dollars to finish this one out. So a twenty, a one, and a two. 
And it says this is also for 75, so we'll count this one as well. So 20, 40, 50, 65, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $75. And there's another finished challenge. And again, I made sure I didn't finish any of these when I did it when I had to do it off camera last week. I made sure I didn't finish any of them without you guys. So we're gonna roll again to see who we're gonna start next week. And we got a one. So I'm just gonna write again, write true crime. Since we have the dog doggy ones too, since I'm gonna throw away this envelope. So this is very thick. I don't know why. Oh, because it has an envelope in it. Okay. I don't I do not know what this is. Oh, this is from Carmen, the humble budgeter. And I saved this envelope from another finished challenge, tacos and murder shows. And we have two taco challenges. So most wanted and most wanted. So I think it was like versions one and two. So we will start these two next week as well. And now we finished the challenge book. So we'll have more money next week to put to challenges. And so I'm at... Uh, never mind. Okay. So we'll put this in there. This is exciting. Getting down to the end, guys. So, okay, now let's go on. We're definitely not finishing this challenge. This is when we just started. And let's see. These are from Kesley at Pedago Budgets. She gifted these to me. And I don't know what I did last week, but let's just see what I feel like doing. I think yeah, I did scratch some on both. So let's start here. So that's a one. Okay, and then we'll do one on here. And it's another one. So $2 so far. Let me wipe these off. Actually, let me keep scratching. Um, one and one is two. I'll do the rest. Oh, let me move this, you guys. Um, I will do the rest um, with Matt fast forwarding. So it won't take up as much of your time. So we're at $2. Okay, so I stopped at $24. So let's do 25 and we do have a one, perfect. So now we have $47 toward these two challenges. So that's awesome. And let's go see what's next. We have Scooby-Doo. So we're gonna finish this one. This is from Cajun Girl Creates. I love this one. And we're gonna finish this one as well because we need the money. And I'm probably gonna do a video Friday. Um, a video Friday of, what is it? Um, I don't know you guys, but Sometime very soon, so six and two is eight. Sometime very soon, I'm going to do a video of one, two, three. Of all of this challenges I finished in the last month, what was it, May? I'm going to stuff those. I'm going to do a video of that. So sorry, I had trouble getting that thought out. But um, so that will be fun. So we have 20, 35, 40, one, two, three, four, and five. Forty five dollars. So that is is right on as well and we'll get the bright green to match okay so let's roll for this one to see which one we'll start next week did we get five yet nope so we got five so let us see what's in here so long ago I put these in I cannot remember it's kind of fun Okay, these were also gifted to me from, um, is it M's Budgeting? Yes, M's Budgeting. I can't believe I remembered that. So she already gifted me some stuff, but she asked me to pick, um, she put some new ones out and said, pick your favorite. And I picked this one and then she sent me that one as well. So that is awesome. We'll have those two to start next week. That's why this unit's going on for so long because when I started it, there, were, there weren't many challenges to buy. And then I started doing the series and then everyone started coming out with them and gifting them to me. It was so nice, but it's made the series go on forever, but we're definitely saving a ton of money. So that is so exciting. So let's go ahead and as normal, I scratch one on each. Let me do that and I'll be right back.
Okay, so we got a uh, we got a two and we got a nine, right? I think so. So that's that would be eleven. So ten, eleven. And if this is if that was wrong and and I am wrong, then when these are done, I'll add them up and make sure we have the right amount in these two. But I'm not going to do it now since the video is already so long. But what's been really nice is because I've only been scratching one every week off of Jen's challenge, I feel like I'm getting my money's worth because, you know, they say what you pay and then divided by times you use it or something times of use or you know what I mean. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting a lot for my money out of these because I'm only doing one a week. So um anyway let's move on we're gonna go to killer savings and this is from sam's digital designs ca and here is the money that was inside the envelope let me grab the dice tower and yep i think you can see everything so we left off there i have my little guy so i'm gonna take this off and put him there grab a let's see let's grab a black marker and I'm gonna roll the six-sided die one two three four so we're gonna get to two and then oh my gosh I have to save what was under there what was it oh you guys I think it was a 10 I'm such an idiot I can't believe I didn't look let's just put 10 in I don't know but I think it was a 10 Okay, let's see if we can get to the finish line um, because I think I need to be done with, with this challenge. <laughs> so we got a five and I'm just going to say we finished. So let's, let's, let's finish off. I know we didn't spend a lot of time on this challenge, but we are going to finish off challenges. So although I can't use this envelope because I, yeah, I'm not going to be able to reuse that, but that's okay. So. Let's count and see how much money this challenge made us. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46. Excellent. So I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna write it, let's see, $46. And I'm gonna trade out for this one. And let's roll and see. Okay, let's roll and see which challenge we're gonna start in this one next week. So we so we only have two left, or sorry, we only have three left. So to make this easy, I did have a three-sided die next to me. Um, let me grab it. It was a homemade one because, let's see, is this it with the, yeah, I made a homemade one with one, two, and three. So let's do one, two, three, and I'll just roll, so two. So it would be actually be this one. Okay. So this is great. We're finishing all kinds of challenges. We're getting the last ones in the book. We'll have more money to put toward it since our other book's done. And this was gifted to me from Jasmine at MS Mom Budgets. So we will start that one. It's a $60 challenge. We'll start that one next week. And what do we have left? Oh, we have Danielle Craft Studios. So for this one, we're just doing a check mark. So let's put in, is there another 10? No, we did the 10s and 15s. We're down to sixes. Let's do, um, actually, to make less change, let's do a six and a four. So we'll do a six and a four, and we'll add 10 to this today. That will be perfect. And I will put that back. We will move right along since I have been filming for a while and I'm not feeling good. And I want to go spend, I'll only have about 20 minutes to spend with Addie before she goes to work. So I wanna get that done. So in this envelope, I made a mistake and I'm thankful for someone pointed it out. So Karina Machado or Machado 3351, I'm sure I pronounced your name wrong, I'm sorry. She brought it to my attention that this is not, this challenge is not from Kip and Lou. This challenge is from Sam's Digital Designs CA and I forgot. And I, when I decided I was gonna put these in the same envelope, I forgot that they were from different people. So thank you for, um, thank you, Karina, for letting me know. So now we know where they're from and let's see what we're gonna do this week. I really just wanna finish stuff up, you guys, but you know, 
Okay, so let's do, I guess we'll do a whole row. We'll do $10. So I'm going to color in, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put a 10 in now, color these three in, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's colored in. So 10 for that. And then let's see. Let's start up here. So these each knife is worth two dollars. So two, four, six, but eight. We'll do ten on this one as well. Eight, ten. Okay. And then at the end, maybe we'll come back and finish these. I would love to get the last two challenges into the binder, but let's just wait and see. I don't want to go too crazy. So anyway, we'll put those back and then the next one we're going to do is from T and L budgets. Oh yeah. We just started this one. So this one, we are not going to definitely not finishing today, but that's great. I love this one. So let me scratch and I'll be right back. Okay, I got up to 19. They were really small numbers. Um, I'm gonna put in 20 and take back one. I'm, I wanted to get a little over 20, but I, I'm afraid now. I'm afraid I'm gonna, I'm afraid I'm gonna do a big one. So, let's see. So, I was gonna put in 20, but I don't have a one. So, let's. No, I don't. I don't remember you guys where this money came from. Okay, I took it here to put in 20. I owe it one. So. Let's make change. One, two, three, four, and five. So we'll put a five back. We have five ones and I need to put one back. So I think that's right, even though I did it fast. Okay, so the next challenge or the last one in this binder is from 307 Design Studio from Shannon. And that is, um, I already talked about her today, but let me see how much we have left. I yeah, we have quite a bit. So. I do want to go back to, like I said, I want to try to get all the new challenges in. Let's see. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Let's go back to, to this one. Let's finish this one off because that won't be too much money. So let's do, so five, eight, ten, and then two, four, six, eight, ten. So that would be a total of 20, 22, 24. So 24. So, so we'll put one back and we'll take 10, 20, and 5. Okay. And then I'm also going to 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm going to take two 10s to make some change. And now this, these are completed. Let me color them in and then we'll count up and see how much money that we got from them. So I'll be right back. Okay, so two more challenges, bite the dust, and we're, we're, we did these together. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Oh, that worked out really nice, me making those two. Oh, it was two. Okay, these were, it was supposed to come out to 100. I didn't even know that. <laughs> so silly. Okay, so another $100. This is so exciting, you guys. And so now we just need a one or a two. Let me see. This will be one, that'll be two. We got a three, of course. One. So we're going to do this one. We'll put this one in here. Oh, and this has an envelope as well. Let's see what it is. I don't even, still don't even know. Oh, okay. This was a true crime scattergories. We're just going to, each letter is going to be one dollar. So, and this is from Compassion Fruit Co. So this we will start. I guess we already had an envelope with the name on it. So let's take this one out and throw these in here for next week to start. And I think you guys know what I want to do. Again, I'm sorry this is so long. Just all kinds of stuff going on. Where is the one that has the game on the front? Oh, I made a clear one. Okay, that's right. Okay, I just used a clear one. I'm just going to say, now I have a, a matching one I can use. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I was thinking I would just 
throw this in here. Um, yes, like that. And I didn't want to do this, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go see if we can finish this one because then we can put our very last true crime challenge in here. And to me, that would be a really nice goal to have hit today. So let's take all this out, put this to the side, and we'll finish this one if we can, if we have enough money. So I'll make sure they're not big amounts because I don't know. Oh, between one and 10. Okay, I think we can finish it no matter what. So I'm going to scratch these and I will be back. Okay, I got 25. Let me grab that before I forget. And I, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I wasn't going to scratch them all the way. So, but I went back and decided to do it because I forgot that they um, had different thing icons underneath and I thought it would look pretty to scratch them all. So let's see how much we got from this challenge. It should be, I don't know. It says one between one through 10. So let's see what amount we get. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 80, 81, 2, 3, 84 dollars. So that is excellent. I'm going to write 84 up here. I don't know if that's right or not, but at this point, I've been filming for way too long and I am just going to roll with it. And let's put this with our finished challenges and then we can put our very last one in here how cool is that so oops okay so since I do have another um what's it called I do have another envelope this color I'll use this so let me snap that in and here is our very last true crime challenge. So if I get any more in the mail from anyone, I'm not going to be doing them in this series. I'll do them at a later date when I can. Okay, so, oh, this is a roll and save. And I believe this is from, I don't want to misquote. This is also from M, M's Budgeting or MS Budgeting. So there are two. And this one is a... Oh, I should have put, okay, so five, 10, I should have put stickers over those. And then these are roll and save. And then, so these are both 120. So we'll put that in there. And now we are done with all the extra challenges. They're all in here. So that is wicked, wicked cool. And let's see what we have left. We still have some money left. So let's finish spending this money quickly. We'll save this challenge for the end like I normally do. And... Okay, so we're going to do the duck challenge from Lisa Grateful Me. So let's go ahead and roll and see what we get. Get out my markers and my die. Oh, wait a second, you guys. You know me. I want to do two scratches in my high-income hot air balloon book. What I love about this book is that this is the high income version and I just got a six and a two last time. So they're still not terribly high numbers. So I think that's pretty cool. So 13 and six. So that is what, 19? Yes, that is 19. And let's see if we have a one in here. We do, so then we can do 10, 15 and 20. Perfect. So another page is done. Wow. I also have to let you know that from now on, I cannot make these double-sided. I had a lot of problems with the envelopes sticking because I'm having the UPS store print very expensive, high quality photos. So this is one I had printed off my own computer. My, I mean, my own printer, my own printer is now dead. So I can really only print from the UPS store. So, but anyway, we'll start this page next time and... Now let's go ahead and roll Lisa's challenge and see how far we can get. My favorite, one of my favorite challenges I've ever done. Seven. So let's see. So we'll do that. And five, six, and seven. So let's roll again. Five. Okay, we'll just throw a five in there. Nineteen. All right. 
19. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and we can take a one back. So that worked out pretty well. I will add the money in later. Let me go ahead and color these in and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is all colored in. That challenge is finished for today. And let's see what we have left from, we can put in our book from a little bit of it all budget. So we have one, two, three, four dollars left. And let's see if number four is available. I feel like it is. Yes, it is. That's awesome. I love this little challenge book so much. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so very much for watching to the end. Remember to look in the description box if you didn't already write it down, but write down the code that Marlene is very generously gifting to all of you to use in her shop on that on the book. And remember that I will have put it on the screen and also it will be in the description box when, um, when the sale ends. So make sure you get it soon before it is the discount is over and before she runs out of books. So thanks again so, so much for watching. You guys are all just so amazing. I appreciate you all. I will see you soon. Bye.